हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ गौरव कुमार रस्तोगी वर्किंग इन अप्लाइड ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री डिवीजन सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ वी आर लुकिंग टी एल सी प्लेट्स ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स ऑन टी एल सी प्लेट्स सो वॉट आर द मटेरियल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन दिस वन इज पोर्टेबल यू वी लाइट विच इज हैविंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ ट्यूब लाइट्स फॉर वेबल इन थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एंड टू फिफ्टी फोर वन इज फॉर शॉर्ट वेब एंड वन इज ऑफ लॉन्ग वेब दिस वन इज जस्ट हीट गन फॉर चेयरिंग द टी एल सी प्लेट्स एंड दीज आर द स्टेन्स विच आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दिस वन इज आयोडीन केम एन ओ फोर स्टेन टू फोर डी एन पी नाइड्रीन Paranisaldehyde. It is like coated in aluminium foil because it is unstable in stain and light sensitive. This one is ferric chloride. This one is PMA, which is also a light sensitive in stain. These are just uh, TLC chambers in which we are running the TLC plates. This is a four seven RT four cell for holding the TLC plates. These are some compounds. which i am going to show you after spotting on tlc these are tlc plates you can see here they are having silica on the aluminium foil and this is just a small capillary for spotting the compounds on tlc plate so i am going to show you how we are spotting the compounds on tlc plate now look the compound should be like diluted like have a, a concentration not much higher that otherwise it will be difficult to look a single spot on tlc or not very diluted otherwise we very uh, diluted we it is not visible on like any scale so we are spotting i am spotting the organic compounds on tlc plate by capillary small glass capillary so you look no spot is visible by naked eyes on tlc plate now i am i will run this tlc in uh, appropriate solvent in tlc chamber now look if you want to see the spots are like spotted on tlc or not but for this i am going to show you this tlc in under uv light now look three spots are visible which are spotted at the base of this tlc plate look in the uv light now i will run the tlc in appropriate solvent system just hold the tlc plate by forceps and keep it in tlc chamber all the time you have to use close chill tlc chamber now solvent is running on the tlc plate by just capillary action okay look tlc is run and you can see solvent is reached up front now i am going to remove this tlc plate from tlc chamber and if you want to calculate the retention factor you just draw a line at solvent front by pencil now first i will see this tlc in uv light see no spot is visible on this tlc plate by naked eye nothing is visible now we will see this tlc under uv light three spots are there you can see but 
now it is clearly visible. So now we will see this in iodine chamber. I will just keep this PLC in iodine chamber. All the spots are visible. They are forming a contact. And now we can see this TLC, these spots on TLC by naked eyes only. So now I am spotting the TLC, these compounds for another stain. Just spotting the compounds by capillary. Compound should be like having a dilution which is like visible. If it is like concentrated spot, then it will be a difficulty, and if it is very diluted, then it is also a difficulty. All the time I am washing the same capillary by washing solvents that is uh, I am using here with highly acetate. You can use uh, any solvent for this like DCM, methanol or ethyl acetate. Before spotting second compound you have to wash the capillary by washing solvent. I will keep this TLC in TLC chamber. We have to make like definite proportion of polar and non-polar solvent for uh, desired for your specific organic compounds. Now the solvent is running upward. And the compound is also moving but it is not visible. taking the TLC out of this TLC chamber and just drawing a line by pencil if you want to calculate retention factor I'll see in UV light first I will see in UV light some spots are visible you can see here now I will dip this TLC plate in one of the stain is KMNO4 KMNO4 actually sometimes heating is not required. You can see two spots are visible spontaneously when I am removing this TLC two spots are visible but other two spots are not visible. So sometimes in KMNO4 uh, normal heating is required. So I will char the TLC with heating heat gun. Mild heating is required in case of KMNO4. Now look, two more spots are visible on TLC. So with KMNO4, you can uh, see the like unsaturated compound or alcoholic compound. Now I am showing you another stain for that. I am spotting the desired compounds. As this, uh, these like uh, stains are specific for certain kinds of organic compounds, some like alcohols and unsaturated compounds are visible in KMNO4 and uh, amino acids, primary, secondary amines are visible in anhydrin. So all the time I am here spotting different compounds for certain or specific types of stains. I am keeping this TLC in TLC chamber. One more thing your spots uh, should be like not dipped in this 
solvent otherwise it will not move very clear the dissolve in that like polar solvent which you are uh, running in your tlc chamber first we will see this tlc in uv light two spots are visible you can see here as these two spots are phenol that is why i am dipping this tlc in ferric chloride stain in ferric chloride spontaneously like it will give the it will stain the organic compound you can see here spontaneously like no no heating is required if your compound is phenol then it is quickly visible now i'm again spotting the tlc for other stain These compounds, some are like phenol, some are uh, alcohols, unsaturated compounds, amines, all the compounds I have collected for showing you people. Wind is moving upward. So I will take it out this TLC from TLC chamber. First, we will see this TLC in UV light. see three spots are visible in UV light now we'll check this TLC in certain stain which is ninhydrin as the compounds are like amines so I'm going to show you how it will give colors to amines in case of ninhydrin actually heating is required when you will see after dipping the TLC no spots is visible if we will heat this TLC by heat gun and quickly spots are coming you can see overheating is not required you can see here Human purple spot is coming here. Now I'm again spotting the TLC for another stain. While you are using these stains, you have to wear some like gloves because these stains, some stains are very much acidic and some stains are also causing stain on your skin like ninhydrin. removing this TLC from TLC chamber now we will see in UV light two spots are with there if we will see 
this DLC in UV light. I am dipping this DLC in 2.4 DNP. It's a very good stain for ketones and LD heights. Now you can see like light orangish spots are there which are visible on this DLC. Actually there are three spots. One was not visible in UV because that was not aromatic, that was aliphatic. So if you will dip in DNP you can clearly see that it is orange spot and you can say that it is there. But when you will see in UV then you cannot say it is there. So in case of 2 4 DNP actually heating is not required. You just keep the TLC in air and after like some time or quickly orangish spot is visible which will confirm you that it is having ketonic or aldehydic group. I am again spotting some compounds on TLC for dipping in, in another stain. procedure now solvent is running upward through capillary action like cloth if you will dip one end of cloth you can observe the water will go upward the same like phenomena is occurring here now we will see this steel scene again in UV light spots are visible actually it is a thumb rule first we have to like always we are like looking TLC plates all the plates in UV light first before dipping the stains you can see clearly five spots are visible now we will dip in this TLC in Perenis LD height it is a very good stain for nucleophiles and oxygenated compound. Actually it is a universal stain. But heating is required. If you are using this stain, heating is required. You can see two spots are visible. Means I spotted five spots but only two spots are visible. That means might be they are oxygenated compound or nucleophiles. Other compounds are not paranis aldehyde active, but they are visible on UV. So if you want to distinguish the compounds, like you can use definite stain and you can say that my compound is aldehyde, my compound is anamine, or it is having alcoholic group, or it is having phenol. You can say after staining with specific stain.
pumping the steel CNT in the chamber for running. Solvent is running and your compound is also running. the TLC plate from TLC chamber now we will see the spots in UV light the short wave UV look four spots are there they are all are having different retention factor the polarity is different then they will have definite different retention factor now I dipped is this TLC in PMA which is a universal which is an universal stain and very effective for dilute spots now I will heat this TLC by heat gun again look the spots are visible third spot is also coming clearly it is showing greenish color generally PMA always give green color greenish blue color which is known as Kagan's structure it is a complex so this is all about these eight stains so there are other stains also which are like required for usage requ required for some specific work but these stains are just sufficient for general synthetic organic chemistry so thank you for listening